Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem fa'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr wa ma adraq ma laylatul qadr laylatul qadri khayrun min al-fishar tanazzalu al-malaikatu wa ruhu fiha bi-idni rabbihim min kul yamr Salamun hiya hatta matla il fajr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kareem Indeed we sit down during the night of decree the Qur'an or the night of power as they say. And what will make you know what is the night of decree or the night of power? The night of decree is better than a thousand months. The angels and the spirit descend therein by permission of their Lord for every matter. Peace it is until the emergence of dawn. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. Verily, uh, or indeed, we sent down, sent it down during the night of decree. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here is talking about referring to the Qur'an. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna anzalnahu, verily we have descend, uh, sent down. Sent down, meaning sent down the Qur'an. This is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, due to his, due to azmatillah, you know, the, 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 that Allah is uh, al-azim, you know, he, he is uh, the most magnificent. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sometimes in the Qur'an, refers to himself or an action that he subhanahu wa ta'ala does like sending down the revelation he subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to it as we in the as they say in in English they use it as the royal we and in Arabic you have this as well and this goes back to the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Ibn Uthaymeen, rahmatullahi he describes, he gives uh, several examples of this. He says, as in the ayat that we mentioned, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَهُ فِي لَيْلَةُ qadr Verily we have uh, sent it down, sent down the Qur'an during the night of power, the night of decree. And then he says, وَمِثَّ قَوْلَهُ تَعَالَى إِنَّا نَحْنُ نَزَلْنَا أَذِكْرُ وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِذُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also in the Quran in Surah Al-Hajr uh, or Hijr, He said, Verily we have sent down, sent it down as uh, uh, the dhikr, the as a reminder of the reminder. And verily we are over it protectors, meaning that we protect it, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects it. And this dhikr is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa mithl qawluhu ta'ala. Inna nahnu nuhi al maut. Wa naktu ma qaddimu wa atharahum wa kulu shayin ahsaynahu fi imam mubin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also refers to himself as we in this ayat, and verily we give life and death, or we bring life to the, to the, to the dead. To the deceased, and we have written what has proceeded for them, and everything we have decreed and have made uh, perfected it. In the Imam Mubin. So I'm not sure what this refers to in the ayat, but this is a Surah Yasin, 
where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also uses the we to describe an action that he subhanahu wa ta'ala does. So sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to himself in something that he does as uh, with the royal we. And then sometimes, as the Sheikh mentions, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Taha. So, uh, so sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to and mentions himself in with uh, in with uh, in a singular form. For example, in the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily, I am Allah, and that there is no God worthy of worship except me. So therefore, worship me, and that's a command, and establish the prayer for my remembrance. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is establishing Tawheed, and this is a refutation of those people who say, the Quran has no Aqidah or doesn't mention Aqidah or all these other uh, forms of Bid'ah that have arisen in this day and age because the Mutaqaddimin, even the Mubtadi'ah from the past, they didn't have this Bid'ah and say that creed was not mentioned in the Quran. In fact, the innovators of the past is they use the Quran to make evidence for their bid'ah even. They tried to use and for ta'wil, making ta'wil with the ayat to affirm their innovation. But now we have innovators and people who have statements of innovation by saying the Quran doesn't reference Aqidah. And so Aqidah has no importance in other statements like this that are mabni al-batil. So here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in mentioning his greatness, uses the, refers to himself in the singular. So Ben Uthaymeen, he mentions the fayda here, is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions that the uh, when he mentions himself in the singular form, this is in uh, accompanied or in reference to his greatness and his wahdaniya. So this has to do with the greatness in the tawheed and that singling out Allah subhanahu wa taala with ibadah and related to his characteristics, his divine sifat. His divine sifat is what? Is a part of Tawheed as well. Tawheed al asmai wa sifat. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is meant when he mentions there in the singular form about himself in the Quran, this is in reference to his singling out himself for ibadah. Whereas when he mentions that he subhanahu wa ta'ala he refers to himself in we in reference to revealing the Quran and, uh, and, 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 and so forth. So this is not usually accompanied when he's referring to his Tawheed. When he's referring to his Tawheed, he mentions himself sing singular, singularly and that he subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship. And so we'll end there to keep it short and we'll continue on in the next sitting.